Now, how did I get the layout down here on the floor? Well, we did some finagling and we did some checking around, but here's the one thing. Where am I going to start at? Okay, well, we just did the one above the sink. Okay, right there. And that just happens to be really close in line with that one right there, that second one. Okay, so I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look at this, and it's right up. There's, a, there's an existing hole up in the ceiling where the light fixture ceiling box was initially. And it's right next to that same joist. I know that same joist goes along up there. And you remember, I'm off the edge of it about an inch, maybe seven-eighths of an inch. Okay? So that just happens to be really close where that existing box was. I put some masking tape over it right there for last night. I took that out. I didn't want to leave, let any dust come back in here or anything like that in the attic. So when you're cutting holes, if you don't finish that that day, put some plastic up there. You know, I got plastic up over this opening where the ceiling fan used to be, an exhaust fan. And that was so small, I just put some masking tape. Okay, so I'm going to pull that masking tape off and let's see, let's see if we can't utilize part of that hole or what's going to happen there. Yeah, that light box almost looks in the right spot. Now see, here's that same ceiling joist from the other side. And I, my hole is about maybe a half an inch away from this edge. And I want it about, oh, I don't know, three, three quarters to seven eighths. And I know I'm going to have to cut this out a little bit more. Uh, I almost have five and a half inches there. And I'll have to be careful with that because the back side of that sheetrock is a little suspect. Okay. So I think I can use this, but before that, I want to make sure I'm in the center of the kitchen. Okay, so before I cut that out, and see, that's going to be the next one I cut, because that's going to determine how far off of here and in line this way, so that when I get my other ones, I want these all nice and straight. Well, let's get us a line up there. And I'll show you how to do that next. Now we've got to get the center of this ceiling, okay? So before, before you just start uh, making assumptions, the last thing we want to do is make an assumption, right? Your first thought would be, oh, I know, it's right in the center between these two cabinets. Well, I don't think it is. Look back, this cabinet and this cabinet is where we want the center of this, okay? If I, if I look on this cabinet here, I've got like 16 inches deep. And let me check this one over here. Well, I've got a little bit of thinking here to do, don't I? Okay, that one, this one here is 16 inches deep off the wall too. Because this this other one was 25. This cabin is 25 off the wall. This one's 32 inches off the wall. So at first glance, you might think that's the center. Well, that's not the center. We got to get the center of the ceiling from this point to this point. So make sure you kind of check things out a little bit before you just start cutting holes up there. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out here, and I got uh, 68 and three quarters, which would be 34 and three eighths. Yep. You just split it, 34 and three eighths. At this point, is gonna be right here. And I can, I can mark on this ceiling. This whole entire ceiling right here has got to be patched. 
and it also has to be textured and it's got to be primed and repainted. Okay. The last thing you want to use though is a felt tip pen or some sort sort of pen because that ink will bleed through sheetrock mud, primer, paint, and all that. Okay, 34 and 3 8 from there. And then I'm going to pull it back this way, 34 and 3 8 And it looks like 34. So let's, let me double check this again. I'm almost slightly out of skew. Not much. Six, I'd go 68 and a half. That'd be 34 and a quarter. Okay, 34 and a quarter would move this back a little bit. And I can kind of scratch off that line. And then from there over, it's going to be 34 and a quarter. Okay, so now, see there's going to be a light here, there's going to be one back here. But I want this line to be back further. Okay, so now I can measure off of there, 25 and a half. And I can come back this way, 25 and a half. Knowing, and I'm just going to put a C over the line, meaning center, center line. That's not exactly where the last one goes, by the way. In fact, you know what? It might even go, it's going to go out further this way. So I want to get my line further back. Okay. I guess I can move around this way. Just check that again. I always like to check my measurements, 25 and a half, and I can come over here and hold that up, 25 and a half. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a C on there. Okay. That's my first step. Now let's go to the other side here and make the same measurements. <clears throat> 